almost like the flashpoint where it starts, one of the key matrix lines that will help shatter this status centralized system. Good evening. It's a military mission in North St. Louis. Heavily armored vehicles are rolling into town, and while they come in peace, there are all kinds of rumors about why they are here. Oh, thank you, Mike Bush, for scaring the living daylights ever out of everyone and then backtracking and saying everything's okay. Those tanks are our government's tanks. Like, that should assuage anybody's fears. Thank you for joining me. This is Flashpoint Radio, and I am Jay-Z, and this is our St. Louis Martial Law Special. Uh, that report came out at the end of last week, and it caused a firestorm to race through the Internet. Alex Jones covered it and. Almost every alternative website and media outlet covered it. And, well, the speculation went from there, and it continues to this day. People are afraid that martial law is being um, declared and the tanks are permanently going to be rolling through the streets of St. Louis. I'm a realist, and I like to look at things from an objective viewpoint. But my viewpoint always starts from the fact that our government is run by corrupt bankers, and they don't work in your best interests. So... When you come from that perspective, yes, U.S. troops training in the United States is questionable and can become a little bit scary. But let's look at what my investigation has found. Well, one article that came out in response to that news piece was from the Riverfront Times. Oh, the liberal free newspaper out of St. Louis. Army training on St. Louis streets stokes conspiracy theories. Yes, Chad Garrison mocks Christians. Alex Jones and people who question official government documents as conspiracy theorists and crazy. Uh, that led Kurt Nimmo of Infowars.com to fire this retort back the same day. Media dismisses warning about tyranny and troops on the streets as kooky conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory. Uh, there's plenty of government documents showing that our government and our military is planning for martial law. Um, they may veil it in martial law overseas, but they seem to be training in U.S. cities quite a bit. Just look at the numerous past Flashpoint radios that cover just that topic. But who is training? Well, the 354th Military Police Company is a reserve company that's stationed at the U.S. Reserve Center on Goodfellow Boulevard. And, well, they're being trained by the 200th military police unit out of Fort Meade, Maryland. Supposedly, they are being trained on armored personnel carriers and how to drive them um, on streets. Uh, so, um, this article from stltoday.com, U.S. Army truck drivers in training rolling around St. Louis. They will be racking up highway miles around St. Louis in armored security vehicles to get behind-the-wheel road training in how to drive the armored trucks. Well... Not sure how many paved highways and metropolitan highways are in Afghanistan, Iraq, or Iran. Shouldn't you be doing this training uh, off-road? Do they have the same type of streets in Afghanistan that we do? No. That's question number one. Why would they be training uh, in U.S. metropolitan areas if they're training for foreign actions? Well, let's look a little bit deeper into who... These people are, well, the 200th MP Command, which is the group supposedly doing the training, recently underwent training of their own out at Fort Meade by the 241st MP Detachment. Their training culminated on May 5th with baton and pepper spray training that left soldiers in tears. So yes, this military police group, uh, all of these military police units are specifically trained in riot control and containment internment situations. From the Army.mil, that's .mil, the official homepage of the United States Army, Iraqi Army commandos train in riot control techniques. This same division was in Iraq training other soldiers. So they obviously have training of their own. I don't know why they need to be trained by other reservists, but they were in Iraq in 2010 training Iraqi police and, quote, from one of the trainers, we are working with them in their crowd control and disturbance control training in order to avoid overreaction during civil gatherings or civil disturbances. P 
people will be vocalizing their displeasure with things as they do in America. They speak out against the government or against things they feel to be unfair. They need to learn and understand how to deal with those situations when they come up. So yes, how they do in America. So yes, you cannot just say that this training is for foreign, uh, foreign theaters and the Iraqi people because they get their training from the United States, from dealing with uh, American citizens. Further research into the 354th turned up this from Defense Video and Imagery Distribution System. Not sure how I came upon this, but headline, 354th MP Company Mentors Iraqi Police. Basically the same story, but it says this. Based out of St. Louis, Missouri, the 354th is a reserve unit where many of the soldiers are civilian police officers back home. So yes, these people that are being trained in pepper spray, detention tactics, uh, riot control, uh, crowd control, yes, they are your police officers. So you're paying them to protect you at home, and they're also learning military tactics. Of course, they won't use those military tactics on you at home. Will they? More research into the 354th took me on this website, visionstrikewear.com, and this is the official police company shirt, or a, a shirt you can buy uh, dedicated to this company. It says Honey Badgers, and it has a vicious badger in front of a what looks like concentration camp with barbed wire, a guard tower, and everything that would come from a Nazi concentration camp. So yes, these are uh, the people. They're wearing shirts that glorify detention of insurgents. And well, as we covered in the last Flashpoint Radio in 2009, uh, Missouri intelligence declared third-party voters and Ron Paul supporters terrorists. So maybe the honey badgers might be coming after you. Well, all this speculation is abounding, and, well, nothing has materialized. I did reconnaissance yesterday. I called, a friend and I called the 6th District, which is apparently where they were going to be doing the training. The 6th District had no information, had not heard of military being in the area. I contacted the public relations department of the police department. They stated they had no information. I would have to contact the military. And well, finding a number to someone in the military is extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. I was able to find this footage, though, of an armored tank on a flatbed trailer. Let's roll this footage. And so here we are on the 270 North, just passing Olive Boulevard, St. Louis, in the county armored vehicle. There it is. St. Louis, headed towards St. Charles. Police state, Corsure. Yeah, you know, that's that's nothing. I, I, I'm not afraid of that. That looks like the same tanks they're planning on using, but I see military uh, vehicles running up and down our highway system all the time. It is nothing to be afraid of. But there's a sighting, but there's yet to be one actual sighting of tanks rolling on streets, which is funny. I would have thought if they had been out, someone would have gotten some pictures of them. But our mainstream media, well, you know how they like to lead uh, interviewees and get what they want out of, uh, public, out of the public. So let's see what uh, Channel 11 and Fox 2, they combine to make one larger news organization found from the public outside of the U.S. Army Reserve Center in North St. Louis City. People who live and work in this neighborhood say they think the training here is a good idea. I think it's the same way when you go out to other countries, when you go out of town, they don't have police officers, they have troops. I think it kind of scares a lot of people. Like cut down on crime? crime? Yeah, cut down on a whole lot of crimes. They don't know if they're military or they police. I think it's fantastic because this might slow down some of the crime rate. You know, the crime rate might go down. You know, that's what I think of. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be like countries who have military instead of police. That's what Venezuela, North Korea, and other narco-terrorist states have. 
not America. So this gentleman needs to be corrected by our media. But no, our media will just allow them to say it and then put it on TV to spread that information around. I don't know. I have not seen anyone. I have not heard any reports. There's been no mainstream coverage since last week. They just simply put out uh, a news broadcast, and in my opinion, they put it out to gauge reaction. Uh, they wanted to see what the Internet would do, what St. Louis citizens would do, um, what would happen if they decided to announce trucks rolling down the streets, even if they weren't going to roll down the streets. I thought maybe that's a possibility, and it may be even bigger possibility when I found out that uh, St. Louis houses the 7th Psychological Operations Group. Um, yes, our United States military has psychological operations units, PSYOPs, uh, what people make fun of Alex Jones for saying all along, PSYOPs, is a stated unit in the military. And, well, the 10th Psychological Operations are based in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, they do things like drop leaflets, propaganda, uh, use loudspeakers to uh, deter uh, rioters and to uh, exude crowd control. Yes, they are propagandists. So if there was a group that was going to put out false information to gauge the public reactions, I would think the 10th PSYOP division would be the one to do it. Not saying anything. That's a pretty crazy conspiracy theory in and of itself. Probably they're just doing uh, training. Uh, but I think even though the people doing the training, the 354th, uh, are simply men and women serving their country nobly, uh, I think the people calling the shots are doing this simply to acclimate the public to seeing this type of thing on the streets of America. And so it doesn't surprise or frighten people when it happens. And so people can uh, feel safe asking for the military to come in and protect them. Remember, when the military comes in to protect you, uh, yeah, they take all of your rights because the military doesn't mess around. The military does not... They do not recognize your rights because they deal with military insurgents. They're not the police. And that's what Posse Comitatus is. It was put in place to keep the military from policing the general public. I don't know. One last little tidbit, though. I did some uh, open source information, and I found a member of the 354th, which will go unnamed. I contacted this person and tried to get some information from them. Have not heard back. But I found pertinent information from a LinkedIn profile. And well, one and a half hours later, I got this website. Profile not found from LinkedIn. So yes, after contacting this person, either this individual deleted their LinkedIn profile or someone monitoring me or their computers deleted their LinkedIn profile. I just think it's funny that after Jay-Z of Flashpoint Radio contacts someone for some information regarding martial law, military, police training going on in St. Louis, uh, websites surprisingly get removed from the internet. Who knows? Probably nothing. I'm not crazy. I'm just a guy that likes to ask questions. You should like to ask questions too because your government cannot be trusted. It never could be trusted. Look at what our founding fathers wrote. They wrote specifically about how our federal government could not and should not be trusted. We'll see what happens. I'm going to continue to investigate, continue to make phone calls, continue to try to get you some actual footage of this going on in St. Louis. But who knows? Maybe it's just a PSYOP put out there to acclimate the public or to gauge reaction. We'll see what happens. They're supposedly training till this Friday, so more information to come. Jay-Z signing off for Flashpoint Radio saying, God bless. Keep your eyes to the sky. You ain't never seen. This is hard.